Hello, welcome to Jackie Burns Creations. I'm Jackie, and if you're new, welcome. So glad to see you, and welcome to all my old buddies. Love you guys. You're just great subscribers. So this is a tissue paper mystery exchange, and it is hosted by Lisa, Lovins the Life, and Karen is the co-host, Loft Home Decor. And what the challenge was is we would send each other paper and we had to use it. So L Karen from Loft Home Decor sent me mine. And you, I'll show you it in a minute. The flamingo paper had a note on it. It says, choose your favorite from these. But would love to see what you do with this one. So I did the flamingo paper. Then she said, these are all accent papers. Use them if you wish, which I did. And then this last one with the... Took me a little bit to get those notes off without ripping the paper. This last one, she said, and this tissue paper that started it all and the inspiration for this challenge, please use this one. And it really is pretty. It's got all these pretty leaves on it and everything. So I will show you. And she said, hi, Jackie. I hope you find lots of inspiration here. Have a blast. And I can't wait to see what you do. If you have any questions, reach out. Thanks for journeying on this challenge. Happy crafting, Karen. She's a sweetie. So she wanted to see what I'd do with the flamingos, so I picked the flamingo paper first. And I have one of these little cardboard um, boxes that I got at Dollar Tree. I cut the flamingo paper to size, and of course I'm mod podging it around the edge. And it's it's much easier to work with in uh, napkins because napkins are so delicate you have to be so careful where this is a bit thicker and it's easier to do. So you just have to be careful not to have glue on your fingers and hang on to it and then pull par part of it off, which I know from experience I've done. What I did was just take little clips around the top and I'm folding them down and uh, glue using the glue, the Mod Podge to glue it down. Now I'm doing the outside. Just fitting the top and don't want to waste the paper. but the paper was a little tidy too short. And I, I should have gone back and cut a big piece, but what I did was I cut a little piece and I just fit it in there. And once it's fit in there and dries, you really can't tell a bit. Besides, I'm putting something on the top and you won't be able to see that well, but it really did blend in nicely. They get a few wrinkles in them, but uh, as they dry, they kind of smooth out. Not totally smooth, but they smooth out. Like I said, I didn't care about the top so much because I was going to put something on top. So I'm just doing the sides in this accent paper with a bright pink. It's kind of a different colors of pinks in there. And I'm using my tin snips to snip some florals for it. I uh, forgot to show you that I put the shell on top. And now I'm just putting different florals in there. These are tiny little succulents. And the white ones are supposed to be for... Uh, sea for the sea like flower yeah flowers or plants you'd find in the sea kind of 
I don't know if they could be used in a fish tank, but I used them in all my summer themes with shells. And here it is all done. I think it came out real cute, Karen. What do you think? Project number two. Now, these were real easy. I had these plaques that I got from Walmart, and they were a dollar a piece. And I figured, hey, a dollar a piece, that's 25 cents cheaper than uh, Dollar Tree. So I decided, yeah, we'll try something fun with this uh, rainbow one. And I found this uh, dotted one in my stash, scrap paper. Now you'll see later on, I kind of wish that you use something lighter, but it still works. Just doing the Mod Podge. This bottle's almost empty, so I'm really trying to use it up. And I turned it over on the back. And I cut strips of one of the other papers. Now what I'm going to do is make a crinkle edge around there. You just put it down and then pleat it a little bit. Put it down and pleat it a little bit. And you can put a little glue on the pleat areas if you want, but it just kind of naturally pleats itself when you fold it back. You just try to be consistent all the way around. Stay on the edge. You could make pleats by sewing little stitches and then pulling them tight. You could just scrunch it in your hand. Well, I thought, Oh, with all these bright colors, you know, this would be good to try one of my napkins with um, gingerbread men on them. Because they use a lot of pastels and some of the gingerbread. And this is why I left this in. This is a mistake. I could have cut it out. But that's why you need to check the napkins really, really well. Because this was a th two-ply, three-ply if you count the, the main one. And all I did was take one of the plies off. So what I'm doing is using my scraper. And luckily enough, this paper, being scrap paper, was really strong. And I was like, arg, arg. It's just to show you guys, we make mistakes too. Just a lot of people don't show their mistakes. And this is why I wish they used the lighter paper so you could see the gingerbread man better. But it still looks cute. And then I put some cookies on there and it'd be cute for a tear tray. Okay, project number three. Well, here it comes, Karen. This is your favorite paper and this is what I'm doing with it. I got a box at Dollar Tree. Dollar twenty-five tree. And I cut the paper to size, and then I'm just Mod Podging it all the way around, wrapping it all the way around. Now, I just used, you know, went with the natural color on the box. You could always paint them white if you want to. But I think the natural color looked nice coming through. With napkins, I definitely suggest painting it white to make them show up because they're so much thinner. But the tissue paper is great fun to work with. Now I'm cutting the edges, cutting them down. Make sure they're all the way down to the cardboard. And what I'm doing is I'm going to fold them inside. So this will have a really pretty look inside of it. Just 
pick that up with the brush and put it in the bottom. And then Mod Podge and wait for it to dry. Now I'm doing the top and I'm doing the same. What I'm doing is I'm going to cut little squares on the sides. And that way it makes it fold down very nicely. Okay, you can see how they folded down. And now I am decorating the top. I got some eucalyptus that I think I got from Walmart. Had it around a while and I've taken a few sprigs and cut them off to put them on there. Uh-oh, I think I must have hit the slow motion. Okay, here we go in slow motion. See that glue gun? I love that glue gun. It has batteries that I have to charge up, but it looks really heavy and awkward, but it isn't. It's a sure bonder, and I love it. If it ever died, I don't know what I'd do. I did have the batteries go low last spring and I had to reorder batteries and they're pretty expensive, but in the long run, they were well worth it. That way I don't have to have any cords and fighting any cords or anything like that. And you can see it's well used and I've had it for Probably about seven years, I think. And you do have to buy the glue gun and then you have to buy the batteries and chargers separate. And the batteries I bought are lithium batteries and uh, you can find them on Amazon. So I'm putting a sunflower up there, giving it a little late summer look. Okay. I'm putting a little tiny Oh my goodness, how did this happen? So sorry. There we go with the sunflower. And then I put just another teeny little sunflower with it. Supposed to speed it up, not slow it down. I guess, you know, it's it's irritating that the record button, the film button is right next to the slow speed button. Oh, here we are back in normal time. And I even put that on fast and it still made it very slow. So I can imagine what it'd be like if I hadn't made it go faster. So I decided this box needed a little bit more. Oh my goodness, don't tell me we're on slow again. So sorry. You're thinking, come on. Oh, I need to start paying good attention to that because I film on my phone. Like I say, the record button is right next to doing videos is right next to the slow motion button. 
and I must have accidentally hit the slow motion when I was doing this. Since it's going so slow, you could go get a drink, get a snack, go to the potty, a number of things. It's kind of like a commercial being in slow motion, isn't it? I think this ribbon looks really stunning against the um, green ribbon. And this ribbon came from um, Hobby Lobby, and the green ribbon came from, uh, no, the green ribbon came from Hobby Lobby, and the brown ribbon came from Dollar Tree. Uh, Hobby Lobby last week was having a big, big, big sale on the ribbon, and it was all marked down to 99 cents. And I even got some, you know, I don't know what you call it, like ones that you could put on furniture or something different. Kind of like a gimp is what they call it. It'd be a nice accent on some of the crafts. Hmm. Come on, lady, speed it up. Trying to see, I see people do this all the time. I don't know if it helps or not, but just trying to get rid of the glue strings. That's my big nemesis, is those darn glue strings. Nope, see, look, it's still. Okay, here it is all done. I think it came out very pretty. Project number four. Now let's hope this is going at the right speed. I put this paper on this plaque. Again, I got these plaques for a dollar from uh, Walmart. Start checking the Walmart uh, craft section. Surprising what you can find. A lot of it's cheaper than it is at Dollar Tree. And it really is cheaper than Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Their florals are very cool. Okay, I'm just cutting, going to cut the blue. I tried to find accents that looked good with this. Put the red down first. Then put the blue down. What I did was I traced them and then kind of folded them in half and cut them smaller and smaller. Okay, I printed this off on my computer. It was a free printable on, mm, I can't just, I think I just put in retro Halloween. I thought it was very cute, and with the colors, it was really cute. This little girl on the pumpkin. And then I got these little picks. They're supposed to be for cupcakes, but I got them at uh, Dollar Tree. They had three different kinds. The pumpkin, the skull, and the bat. It was kind of hard to break those picks off, so that was cool. And I thought, well, I'll just stick these in here. To make it very Halloween-y looking. There's the skull. And here comes the bat. You know, I really thank you all for coming along on my crafting journey. It's my passion in life. Uh, when I find a new house, hopefully soon, I will uh, have a room just dedicated to storing my crafts. And uh, here it is all finished. I, like I said, I thank you for coming along. 
And I hope you enjoyed this. And please come back again. And you know what? Go out and spread some kindness. This world really needs it. Go ahead and hit that button. And uh, check out my channel. Thanks. See you soon.